These last seven months cruising Panama have brought us so many different experiences. We explored the lush jungles of Boca del Toro, soaked in some of the most pristine waters we've ever witnessed in all of our travels all over the world in the San Blas, hopped from one ocean to another as we transited one of the seven wonders of the modern world, and now, as the sun begins to rise on a new day, we experience the strange sensation, again, of waking up in the middle of the ocean in a completely different country after an overnight passage. We were just a few miles from making our arrival into Costa Rica, where we'd jump right into everything this insanely beautiful country has to offer. World-class waves, diverse wildlife, jungles for days, and lots and lots of rain. But first things first, we needed to make our way into the marina in Golfito to clear into the country. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. I've been trying to call the marina. No answer. No. Hey, Gaza. Can you try and shout at these people in this golf cart? Just ask them if they know where Maycole is and ask them why she's not answering the radio. Where are you at, Maycole? Where are you at, Maycole? <laughs> where am I slip at? <laughs> where did I slip at now? It is no wind, super hot, but it looks really nice. So. Did you find the pool? Yeah. <laughs> Zero had a little little pool playtime this morning. And we were just sat here like waiting for everything Amazing. to get situated. Yeah. Nice work, guys. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to Costa Rica. Thank you. High Woo. five. Yeah. High five. Pura vida, Costa Rica. Today's video is brought to you by AG1 from Athletic Greens. So we just arrived in Costa Rica and I like to start my day out right. And for the past eight months now, that means AG1. So just one scoop is packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients. It's quick and easy to prepare. And I think it tastes a little bit like cold green tea, but infused with enough goodness to be like nine health products all rolled into one. So AG1 is my way of taking care of myself. I know that I'm starting out the day on the right foot, supporting my immune system and helping me to sustain energy levels throughout the day. So just click on the link in the description below or head on over to athleticgreens.com forward slash svdelos. If you do, you'll get a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs of powder with your first purchase. Thanks so much for supporting our videos by watching and now back to the show. Golfito is the southernmost port of entry for Costa Rica. We wanted to check out some of these world famous spots, but to be honest, surfing and sailing don't always combine that well together. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> Need to clip in just to come out and film this. Shit. This is what <laughs> When you wake up in your house, it's we're going all the way to the place by surf break. I'm out. I'm out. Brian's out. So we decided to switch things up a bit, and we rented a little place for the weekend to score some good waves and unwind in some of the peaceful natural beauty this region has to offer. So we're all packed up. Quite a pile of stuff. Here we have like food and stuff, car seat, Sierra's tent, surfboards. And we're gonna leave Delos for a few days and go and live on land. I'm excited. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We never really do this. No, very rarely. Yeah. The last time we did it was in, uh, what, Mexico, right? No. When we went to Puerto Rico last time. Yeah. We did our visa run. Yeah. Yeah. Puerto Rico. 
Ah, Costa Rica. <laughs> Jeez. So we're gonna go and take first a taxi ride, then a, I think like a big penga ride, and then another car ride, and then we'll hopefully be there. Bye, Davos. Number one transportation, cab ride. This place is awesome. So open and nice and like yeah. Do you like it Sierra? We're gonna stay here for a few days. Do you like it? This is my number. Where's the number? Anywhere in the house. Empty waves, zero people, and we're on the highway in front of the house. Right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hasta luego, chicas. Gracias. Hasta luego. Hasta luego, chicas. Gracias a We made it. Nice Good job, yeah. team. Here's to a great weekend. Cheers. Cheers. I like this Imperial. Yeah. It's pretty good stuff. Cerveza de Costa Rica. Sí. Sierra took all the um, sheets and towels off the bed straight away and just put them on the floor and now like putting the towels into the bowl. Oh, Sierra's rearranging. Oh. Megan's being homey, just how she likes it. Yeah. The tide was pretty high, so the waves were super small and barely breaking. But the warm turquoise waters, empty lineup, and ridiculous views made the first paddle out of the trip a success. Costa Rica has huge tides that drastically affect the surf conditions. As you can see on the map, tidal ranges vary around the world and can differ anywhere from near zero to over 50 feet. The exact range depends on the volume of water adjacent to the coast and the geography of the basin the water sits in. The Caribbean side of Costa Rica has an almost negligible amount of tidal swings, but here on the Pacific side, the difference between high and low can be up to 10 feet. In this particular area, some of the spots can be flat as a pancake during high tide and then turn on during low tide with large, fast, and hollow waves. The best surf conditions of the day had already passed, so we took to the beach to stretch our legs and enjoy the sunset. We walked around the corner and I was like, wow, there's a lot of people in the water. And then I realized it was birds. <laughs> like really big pelicans just sat there. It looks like servers in the lineup. It does. It does. Wow, look at this rainbow. What are your guys' first impressions? Yeah, this is a cool spot. I like it on this side. Jordan yeah. just said that she's going to actually, <laughs> sorry guys. This is where my journey stops with Delos because I live on this beach now for the rest of my life. Holy, it's so uh, amazing. I didn't blame you.
place is really amazing. We just had a couple of macaws out front and a squirrel and then a hummingbird just flew through the kitchen. It's nice to be able to yeah. cook breakfast and have a view of the ocean. I'm enjoying yeah. it. Whoa, no way, that looks amazing. Avocado toast, cheesy eggs and bacon. Nom nom nom, 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 nom. serves you. with a view. <laughs> Doesn't get much better. Breakfast with a view is an understatement. It's one of the most biologically intense places on Earth. Once an island floating in the Pacific, the Osa evolved in complete isolation until it merged with mainland Costa Rica by the way of the same fault system that extends all the way to California. Located along the Central American Isthmus, Costa Rica itself is a biological hotspot as countless species poured into the land branch created when North and South America joined together. The Osa Peninsula is estimated to house 2.5% of the planet's biodiversity, while it covers less than a thousandth of a percent of the world's surface area. And we were lucky enough to enjoy a front row seat to some amazing animal encounters right around the house and the trails that surrounded us. We spent the next couple of days catching some amazing waves, which we basically gave up on trying to film after the first day, spending hours staring up at the trees from the hammock, building dams, and assimilating into the various crab civilizations that ruled the beach, and channeling our inner sloth vibes and soaking up all the peace and simplicity of living life on land. And then before we knew it, it was time to pack up our bags and head back to our floating home to get ready for the next adventure. have a neighbor right back here, Nika, on her boat Carl. Uh, she also has a YouTube channel, White Spot Pirates, uh, and we've been chatting with Nika on and off for quite a few years now, but we've never met in person. Uh, she's been sailing around on Carl here in Central America for just over 10 years, I think. And yeah, she's kickstarted a really cool environmental project uh, that we've been part of. And I think it could be really cool to get a, like a little interview and show you guys what's up. It's really cool. So this is Nika. Hello. <laughs> and this is a really cool machine that we'll get on Delos in the near future. Tell us about the project and what kind of what happened and how it all came about. and. Um, yeah, basically with InMotion we provide grassroots solutions for people living in remote coastal areas to recycle uh, ocean plastic. So the idea is to have different sailors sailing around um, with these machines and going to those remote coastal areas and telling people about the potential that plastic recycling machines have for you know, dealing with the problem of plastic but also to create new income streams for the communities. So basically the, the people that joined the Motion Recycling Fleet have two machines. One is a little shredder that shreds the plastic into flakes. And then this is the machine that actually makes the product. It's the extruder. Cool. So the plastic flakes go in at the top. They go through this tube and there is like an extrusion drill bit inside. These are heat bands. It'll heat up the plastic and spits out a plastic filament. Yeah. And then with that you can wrap the filament around certain molds. And you can make like flower pots, you know, little bowls, uh, lampshades, yeah. or you can inject it into molds. Then you open up the mold and you get a ready-made product like a coat 
hook. Uh, this is like a hairpin yeah. or something like a, a soap box like this, for example. And you were talking too uh, about, you know, like how you can kind of sailorize it, I guess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. And maybe come up with things that you were mentioning, like zip ties, yeah. which I think I love. Mostly when I thought about this, like I thought about, you know, earrings and yeah. it, which is super cool, but to make something that, you know, sailors can use and that we use every day could be like super interesting. Yeah, exactly. Like my boat is aluminum, so you know, I need yeah. to have like plastic washes to insulate the, the bolts from the from the mil aluminum. Yeah. yeah, zip ties, I always feel bad using them. So now you can even recycle your own zip ties or yeah. you can make like a little bundle of zip ties for new friends that you meet. Yeah, so if it's any sailors out there or anybody that have any cool ideas of things that we should make, uh, leave a comment and yeah, we'll cool. love to hear it. Yeah. yeah, that'd be great. And then we could get the molds for Dallas and they could uh, make the products that you suggested. So. Yeah. so this is a prototype that you have on your boat right now? Yes, exactly. That is that is the machine that you're going to get, but yours is unfortunately not assembled yet. We're waiting for parts that are stuck in Corona supply chain issues, Yeah, unfortunately. So we don't have our machine yet, but we will get it in the near future and we'll start recycling plastics right away. <laughs> <laughs> We're really proud to be a part of this project. And if you'd like to learn more or even find out how you can be involved, check it out on the website and socials. And if you want to see the latest updates and some more real-time stuff from us, make sure to follow our socials as well. After wrapping things up with Nika, we are just about ready to take off to grab some fuel and head out to our next anchorage. But of course, no visit to Delos would be complete without an addition to the wall of fame shame. We've put pictures of random people that we've met and friends we've made over the last couple of years. Yeah, do you want to get up there? Shame, shame. Okay, this is definitely fame, not shame. Maybe the other night there was some shame involved. The other night was a little shameful, but... We were all shameful. We were all, we were all shameful that night. Things that happen outside the camera stay outside the camera. Ah, cool. Hasta pronto. Hasta so like pronto is just see you soon. See you, see yeah. you soon. Yeah. This is kind of the YouTuber section, but you don't oh, have to go wow. here. But we got, what do we got? We got the Pluckster right here. Uh, we got Colin uh, right in here. Uh, these are our friends on uh, One Life. Here's Taylor. Well, then I'll just go here with the other YouTubers. Oh, wow. Ooh, White Spot Pirates in the house. Oh, nice. <laughs> Really late to talk. <laughs> She's getting the last of the yeah, AC. It's a little muggy. It's not that hot. It's just so humid. It's just overcast and like raining all the time. Yeah. I'm trying to get the body max level coolness before we take off. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm pretty ready. Oh, Sierra's went to bed. It was a. It was an intense a, one. Intense one. <laughs> it's done. And she's asleep, so it's good. All right, okay. you guys ready to get off the dock and head on out? Yeah. Let's do it. Turn that AC off. I like the spirit. Mexico. We're gonna go explore Costa Rica. Yes, Costa Rica. Here we Okay, here we go. We picked a very moist day to hit the road. <laughs> the worst possible day. <laughs> sometimes it happens like that though. You gotta get off the dock. Sometimes you just gotta untie and go. Let's see. That's my motto. Just, Where we uh, untie and go too. Uh, we don't actually know. We just untie and go. <laughs> Over the years, we've averaged about 170 liters or 30 gallons per month to travel all around the world and meet all the power needs of our home beyond what we get from solar. At these fuel prices, that works out to be about 200 bucks a month, which is pretty amazing when you consider that the average American uses about 190 liters or 50 gallons a month just to fill up their car. And that doesn't include any utilities for their home. Oh, you ready to get a little, little more? 
moist out there. <laughs> he said he would help, but now I feel bad because it's just boring. time to head across the bay. Wow. It's been going 20 knots right on the nose, wind against current, so there's big chop. It's raining like crazy. We got a little, a little sliver of sunshine coming out though. I see the sun. I see the sun. I see the light. We got all that behind us. We made it across the bay and into the lee of the peninsula. We actually found a super nice and tucked in spot to post up for the evening. It's really deep right here. We're in like 100 meters of water for over 300 feet, so it's way too deep to anchor. But there's like these little shelves that come out from the land. There's one where all those boats are, but I figure if we anchor on the one right in front of us where there's no boats, that uh, we can get a little closer to shore. Either that or it's going to be a disaster place to anchor, and that's why there's no boats here. One or the other. Let's we'll find see. out. <laughs> There's so many different clouds, like just layered on top of each other. Just as we were leaving the fuel dock, the agent, Michael came like running up to us and handed me this folder. It just says like, to Colin Parlay. <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's see what it is. Maybe it's a love oh, letter. Oh, it says Zarpe. <laughs> they forgot their Zarpe. So Good Zarpe is like a, a clearance. And this is a, a national Zarpe. And so this is what legally allows him to leave this port and go to the next port because you have to do that in Costa Rica. So uh, <laughs> we've got parlay by the by the papers here. Grab them by the papers. Grab them by the papers. <laughs> Could you forget your Zarpe, Colin? Jeez. Yeah, they're anchored in front of the surf break right now. It would yeah, be oh yeah. so... He just sent a message. It's like gnarly over there. He says... We got our little, little slice of paradise. Right cheer. Cheers. Thanks for the beers and good night. I said good night, dang it. Turn the camera I said good off. Night. Turn that camera off now, Jordan. I said good day, sir. <laughs> I said good day to you. Strike a pose or something. You know how they have those like ink blot things where you say what it looks like? What do you think that your route looks like? Could be a uh sperm but this is the tail good seamanship <laughs> good seamanship <laughs> that's good seamanship <laughs> right there <laughs> slightly out of focus just the way i like it i've got it overexposed so we should be ready to go <laughs> 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 That's what you do in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> What's like another pose? <laughs> <laughs> Ramses is the number one. Brian's reading skills are number one. His eyes are number one. Brian's narration voice is number one. His muscles are number one. Jordan's editing skills are number one. Action. All right, I was uh, taking some time this morning to go through all the messages on Patreon, which I absolutely love doing because there's some real gems in there. And I ran across this one that I found super inspirational and wanted to share it. So the patron's name is Robert Place. He's been a patron since November of 2017, which is amazing. And he says, hi all, sorry this is going to be a longish post. I've been a patron for some time and had to cancel when my wife and I left on our own boat to cruise the world. We actually met in P-Town, uh, which is Provincetown, 
uh, and Block Island when you were headed north and we were on the boat named Spirited and guided you into the anchorage when you arrived into P-Town. We made our way north through Maine, the same time as you though, hitting different areas. We weathered the hurricane on a storm uh, mooring in Love Cove and continued north. And then I started having issues navigating, seeing markers, and began suffering serious confusion and headaches. After a lobster pot incident and getting towed in by a super nice lobsterman, my wife con convinced me to go to the hospital. After a CAT scan, I was rushed to a bigger hospital in Bangor, where I spent two weeks in the ICU while the doctors tried to diagnose the many lesions on my brain. It turns out I had a rare form of lymphoma that was eating away at my brain. Needless to say, we had to ditch the boat and promptly move to Baltimore, where I could be treated at one of the few hospitals in the world that could deal with this type of rare cancer. At the time, I was given a 20% chance of living through the first three months of chemo, 21 months of treatment later, and I'm still here and cancer-free. Isn't that amazing? He says, it has taken me nearly two years to work up the emotional fortitude to watch your videos again, but my wife and I started going through them right where you started at Block Island, where we met you. Watching you cruise up through Maine and back down the Chesapeake was like living it ourselves and brought back a lot of good memories, especially those awesome seals in Provincetown from our trip. It has inspired us to get another boat, and while we can't go around the world as we had planned to do, uh, we plan on cruising the east coast of the U.S. and the Bahamas, and possibly the Caribbean for as long as I can keep the cancer away. The search for a new boat is on, and I wanted to thank you both for the inspiration to give it another go. I hope to see you out there someday. Rob Place, XSV Spirited. I don't know, it's just... It's just so touching to know that there's people out there that uh, you know are battling things in life, cancer, and um, have overcome it, and are now planning on getting back out, getting another boat, and just enjoying life, which is what it's all about. So, uh, really, really very special message for me to read. Here's our reply: Hey, Rob, what an incredible story, and congratulations on your battle against cancer. I can only imagine what a huge and scary change it must have been for you but we're so freaking stoked for you that you were able to adjust your course and find a way to stay out on the water and make the most of the situation. The Bahamas and Caribbean have much to offer. You'll absolutely love it. We're sending you the biggest hugs ever and lots of love and positive energy to you and your wife from the whole crew out here. Um, so that's it. Enjoy, enjoy your life, people. Thank you for watching the video and we're out.